I hate to tell you this, but according to Ecclesiastes, your life is meaningless. It's vanity. It's a chasing after the wind, and it's like vapor. Ecclesiastes says that our lives are meaningless because we are always comparing our lives to the lives of others in order to find meaning. Is my life as successful as my neighbor's? Do I have as much stuff as my neighbor has? We see this tendency in chapter 2 where the author writes, I built houses and planted vineyards for myself. I made myself gardens and parks and planted in them all kinds of fruit trees. I made myself pools. I bought male and female slaves and had slaves who were born in my house. I also had great possessions of herds and flocks, more than any who had been before me in Jerusalem. So I became great and surpassed all who were before me in Jerusalem. Then I considered all my hands had done and the toil I had spent in doing it, and again all was vanity and a chasing after the wind. The problem, says the author, is that when we find meaning by comparing ourselves with others, we find that our lives are meaningless. It's vain. It's like vapor. Because it puts us in a rivalry with our neighbors. In order to find meaning, I have to make sure that I am up here and my neighbor is down here. This is a way of trying to put ourselves at the center of the universe. But Ecclesiastes tries to humble us and say, life is not about you. So what's the answer? According to Ecclesiastes, God wants us to enjoy life. But we will never enjoy life when we find meaning over and against other people. We will enjoy life when we seek to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. God wants us to enjoy life, says Ecclesiastes, but not at the expense of other people. In chapter 3, the author writes that it is God's gift that all should eat and drink and take pleasure in their toil. The problem with finding meaning is that we grasp at it, and we grasp at it at the expense of others. What Ecclesiastes wants us to do is to relax our grip on our search for meaning and receive our meaning from God. Receive the love of God and share that love with others. Because living our lives any other way is chasing after the wind. It's like vapor. Hey Adam, what are you doing? I'm gonna chase the wind. I'm gonna get you, wind! Did you catch it? Yeah. Really? No.